Right, hi. Um, unfortunately, uh, the battery died when I was doing the lock. Um, so, obviously I can't show you actually fitting that, but you should be able to see there that it's now fitted. Um, I put it on a spacer of NDF, simply because the, uh, the screws I've used were 3mm by 20, so obviously they'd have come through the outside, so I put a spacer on to um, take into account the screws. I've also put a little nick on the frame on the inside, so that the uh, deadlock there fits in there to lock it. I've also just used some scrap MDF, a uh, piece on the bottom, a piece on the top and down the sides, uh, so that when you shut it, it doesn't go inside, it, it keeps it level. So, um, so that bit's now done. Now the original post boxes are made out of uh, cast metal, um, they made the front and the back separately and then joined together and they have like a big uh, step around this side so the way that I deal with that is um, using some wood and I've cut this on the table saw but it's uh, roughly 9mm by 6mm, 7mm um, and I might at the corners and I fasten a piece on the on the top there and then another piece down each side to give that step and then I use some of this which is um, half round beading again this is roughly 21 millimeters and then that goes on the front which obviously hides the, the joins and when it's all done and mitered, it gives the, the effect. Um, so I'm going to go ahead now and do that, and then when I've done it, I'll come back and show you. <coughs> right, well here we are. Um, I've put the edge in round. As you can see, it's now got this little lip, which is like the rail post boxes. Finished it off with a half round beading. I've also put this strip on, um, with this, you can't put this on until your beading's on because you need to cut it round to fit round the beading and the shaping I've just done on the belt sander. Um, so that bit's done. You also see I've cut out the letters Royal Mail um, and stuck those on. The real post boxes have ER for Elizabeth Regina and a cross. And, um, um, a crown, but uh, this has got DVLR because I'm going to give this to the Derwent Valley Light Railway, um, Heritage Railway um, that I volunteer at. Um, so that's that's it now. It's actually made. Uh, it just wants a final a final sanding down, um, ready for painting. So obviously I'm not going to show you painting it uh, when it's painted. I'll, uh, I'll show you the end result. So I uh, hope you've liked it so far. Right, well here we are. The post box is now finished. It's painted. As you can see, I've painted it red. Um, and I've picked out the letters in, in gold. So um, just helps them stand out. Now, the, the real post boxes, when they're newly painted, are a very shiny gloss, bright red. Uh, but after they've been in the weather a few years, um, the, the shine dulls off and the colour dulls down and I, I try to paint mine in that dullish red rather than the, the actual very gloss red uh, just to give it um, a look of that it's, it's you know been out in the weather a few years um, obviously on the real post boxes the letters aren't picked out in gold but uh, for what I use them for um, it's nice to pick the letters out in gold I've also um, printed off a, a sheet that goes in the front, tells you when last collection is and gives some, some information. Um, so there it is, the finished, finished post box. As you can see, we've got the key that works, so the letters can be um, retrieved from the post box. And there we are, all finished. So don't forget, if you'd like to build one of these, 
There are free plans in the description, you've got a download link there. Um, the plans include a stencil for the Royal Mail and they also include um, this, this sheet that goes in here that you can, you can alter yourself to your own, to your own needs. Um, so there we go. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope it inspires you to make a to make a post box. Maybe if you've got a wedding coming up, you could maybe have a go and make one for for whoever's getting married. Um, if you do have a go, post um, you know post uh, some pictures of it in the comments. Everybody would like to see. If you've liked the video, please click the like button. And if you'd like to subscribe, please do so because uh, I'll probably be doing some more videos in the future. And um, I've also got some videos out there that you might like to see. So thanks very much for watching and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.